entrance and the fount. All that you have done to us, O Lord, you have done with true judgment, for we have sinned against you and not obeyed your commandments, but give glory to your name and deal with us according to the bounty of your mercy. Good morning, everyone. And we welcome you in this Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We all say, I confess to Almighty God that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and show showing mercy, Bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises. Heirs of the treasures of heaven, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. I have dealt with great things that I do not understand, things too wonderful for me which I cannot know. I heard of you by word of mouth, but now my eye has seen you. Therefore I disown what I have said, and repent in dust and ashes. Thus the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his earlier ones, for he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a 1,000 yoke of oxen, and a 1,000 sheasses. And he had seven sons and three daughters, of whom he called the first Jemima, the second Kezea, and the third Kirin Hapuk. In all the land, no other women were as beautiful as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived 140 years, and he saw his children, his grandchildren, and even his great-grandchildren. Then Job died old and full of years. The word of the Lord. Lord, let your face shine on me. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. The revelation of your word sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, 
Father, Lord of heaven and earth, you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The 72 disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us, by to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who are who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Turning to the disciples in private, He said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Again, good morning, everyone. As a human being, it's very normal and natural that we be that proud of our accomplishments. We be proud of what we have contributed. We be proud of, in a very positive sense, proud. Because it will m motivate us more. If people would acknowledge what we have done, it will motivate us. Amen? to do more. In the Gospel for today, the 12 disciples returned from their work and they reported to Jesus what they have done and they're very happy. And Jesus acknowledged them. But learn from what Jesus told them. As my interpretation is, Jesus would tell them, it's okay to be happy for what you have accomplished. I acknowledge it. But don't just stop there. Remember, in the Gospel, it was written there. The most important thing is you to know that your names are written in heaven. Your names are written in heaven. Because things in this world are temporary. We will all vanish. And people has tendency to forget, especially the good things, what would be staying, the bad things that we, are go that we have done, sad to say. That is why this is an encouragement for all of us that we focus on the things which are heavenly that would lead us to, to heaven. Like the praise, your names are written in heaven. Meaning to say, we are being encouraged to do things that will give us the passes, that will give us the ticket to heaven. See? They are happy and Jesus is happy also. 
because they performed in his name and they did very well. And that is enough for them to be more inspired and motivated to do more heavenly things. My dear friends, we are being invited to do heavenly things. And that is to be the extension of God's love. As what I have told you in my previous homilies and my sharing, when we do something good, look up there. Remember that? We're still on that side. Look up there. And what is the phrase that we are going to say? Charge to? Oh, you forget. Charge to heaven. Even though people cannot see that, people cannot acknowledge that, it's okay. For as long as we know in our hearts, it is for God. We say, charge to heaven. Can we say that? Human as we are, our tendency is we tell people that's normal. We share. That's okay. But please, as Jesus told the disciples, remember the most important thing. Your names are written in heaven. Which is most important for you? Your name written in the wall or our names written in heaven? Good, good. So, having said that, are you ready? Are we ready to do good things to our brothers and sisters? Always, all the time, yes. Come again. It's hard to follow. Very good. That is more human and authentic response. It's... But we are being encouraged by the gospel for today. It's hard, it's difficult, especially in these pandemic times. But with Jesus, with God's grace, we can do it. Okay? God is not expecting uh, a humongous thing to do. Small ones. Small ones. It's so great in the eyes of our Lord Jesus Christ. A simple smile, expressing your forgiveness to the one who hurt you, is heavenly. Amen? Heavenly. Small thing, but you, from the bottom of your heart, you give it and share it to someone who is in need. That is heavenly. What is a thousand dollar, but that is only an excess of your wealth? It can help the church, yes. But what I'm telling is, it's the heart. You give $5, and that's the only thing that you have, and look up there and say, this is for you. This is the only thing that I have, but this is for you. That's heavenly. Forgiving someone who hurt you and pained you, it's painful, but you embrace the person in spite of that is heavenly. We are sure that our names are written in heaven. A simple act of humility, accepting our fault. A reminder, this afternoon, 3.30 to 4.30, confession. Even though you were busy, but there was this force leading you to go to the church and confess, that is heavenly. Accepting that we have done something wrong and ask for forgiveness, that is heavenly. Let us all pray, my, Lord, my dear friends, that our willingness to be extensions of 
Jesus' love be fulfilled in us. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Longing to see God's face, we turn to God who reveals himself to us in love with our needs and petition. For all members of the church, may each one of us be filled with faith as we live out our mission to share Christ's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For civic leaders, may they be given the grace to be instruments of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who struggle with doubt, who long to see what the disciples saw, may they be strengthened by God's infinite love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this community, may we taste and see God's goodness in the Eucharist and so be empowered to carry out the mission entrusted to us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have passed away, may they rest in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for Fi Wong, as the intention for the being sick, and for the souls of Corazon Domingo, Cipriano Negrosa, and Faustino Paz, a special intentions for this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord In the quiet of your heart, say your own personal petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Let us also include in our petition and prayers Junior Argoso, who is celebrating his birthday today. May the Lord Jesus Christ will be continuously with him, walk with him, and protect him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving God, you come to us in our struggles. We entrust these needs to you, remembering that you can do all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, the full creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, no work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, the full creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that 
that this is our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid upon, open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him, has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God, Lord. heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon us. Like the people, so that they may become for us the blood, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the, <clears throat> and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion Antiphon, remember your word to your servant, O Lord, by which you have given me hope. This is my comfort when I brought law.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united, whenever we proclaim this death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace and love one another. Good morning. Have a good day, everyone. And be safe.